particular class in this set of videos, I'm going to demonstrate how to solve um, acid base AB arterial blood gas problems and using two methods. Um, first one is just through analysis of the values and their relationship. And the second one I'll do is the tic-tac-toe method. And these will be in two separate videos. Okay, so let's get started looking at the first one. Okay, so first of all, when you uh, look at acid base problem, we want to first look at what is normal. So in homeostasis, The pH, normal pH, we already know is 7.35 to 7.45. And um, norm, nor, in the normal pCO2 value, in the blood is 35 to 45 millimeters of mercury. One way to remember this, in the future you're gonna to have to remember this. Um, on the test you do have to remember pH, but I will give you pCO2 and bicarb. In the future you wanna remember this is 35, 45, 35, 45. And the last value is the HCO3 in the blood, bicarbonate. And that is 22 to 26. If the imbalance is caused by the PCO2, this will be a respiratory problem. So respiratory problem includes hyperventilation and hypoventilation. So if there's imbalance caused by that, that'll be a respiratory acidosis or alkalosis. If it's a imbalance caused by um, the bicarbonate levels, then that would be a metabolic problem. So that would be metabolic acidosis or metabolic alkalosis. Okay, so that is the homeostasis value for blood pH, blood pCO2, and blood bicarbonate level. So one thing you want to remember is that we're looking at patients arterial, artery, blood, gas workup. Okay, so these are the arterial blood gases. And And what you, let me enter this down a little so I have room. So what you wanna look at is like this case, this patient, I give you a little intro. Um, Polly is showing up with type one diabetes. She has the flu for the last three days and did not eat. And she did not use insulin. And then upon mission, you notice there's something also going on with her breathing and there's a fruity order. So, um, you test her blood and it looks like this. Okay, so what do you do? So first thing you wanna do is analyze each value. Okay, so I'm gonna really um, label all this and show you how I do this problem, okay? So first step, step one, is you're gonna evaluate the pH. So pH of 7.3 is low, lower than homeostasis, Low pH, I will write down right underneath here, that is acidosis, so it's acid. Step two, I'm just changing color so you can see different steps in different color, but the color doesn't mean um, um, anything, it's just showing you the step. Step two, I'm gonna evaluate the blood pCO2 value. So the pCO2 is 22, okay? and the PCO2 should be between 35 to 45. So this is low PCO2. Okay, so from the lecture, what you remember is low PCO2 is equivalent to saying there's low hydrogen ion. 
and low hydrogen ion is actually high pH. And low, a uh, high pH, this is alkalosis. Okay, so the last value we're gonna look at is the bicarb value. So the bicarb value is um, HCO3, and in this case is nine, and it should be between 22 and 26. So nine is low HCO3, so lower HCO3 negative bicarb is not enough to accept the hydrogen ion. So this is gonna lead to a low pH, which is acidosis. There's a little mnemonic that you can use to kind of help you remember the relationship is that it's called ROM, respiratory, is opposite, so respiratory, R-O, Rome, right? Respiratory is opposite, meaning low PCO2 is high pH. And then ME, Rome, is that low bicarbonate is low pH. Metabolic is equal, okay? So it's the same. Okay, now that you've evaluated all three, so one, two, and three of each number, so you look at each number carefully on step one, two, and three. Then you're gonna look at the relationship between each of those. So when you look at the relationship of each of those, then what you want to do is, let's, I'm gonna use this orange, maybe use this orange highlighter, is that I know that the patient is in acidosis, okay? So if I look at which one, is acid, alkaline, acid, this is acid. So because this causes acidosis and the pH of the blood is acidosis, then I know because it matches, match the pH, this is the cause of the issue. So that will be the cause. So this will be step four, looking for the matching to the blood pH and the cause of the imbalance. The next step is then to look at the next step is to look at what is the other value saying, okay? So the other value is alkaline, which is opposite of acidosis. So if there is an opposite, in this case, this is opposite, of the pH, at step five, you look for the opposite, then we know that this is opposite pH because it's trying to correct it. You know, you're using an increase in pH to try to correct the decrease. So this will be the compensation. Okay, so once you do some the five steps of analyzing the value and looking for the matching and the opposite, you cannot answer the question. So if, if you look at the question, oops, for question, this is case number two. If you look at the question for case number two that I'm demoing from your worksheet, is that is that the acid base problem the cause, the main cause of the problem is the step four, what is the cause? Determine the primary problem is that we know that it is um, acidosis and we know it's metabolic acidosis. Oops, this is real small, sorry. Um, it's metabolic acidosis because if the problem is caused by HCO3 negative, that is a metabolic cause. So this will be metabolic cause, okay? 
if it's caused by HeCO2, then that would be a respiratory problem, okay? So that's a metabolic acidosis. Is the patient compensating? Well, we already know that um, there is a bicarb that is the opposite. So yes, the patient is compensating. And maybe the kidney and the breathing are both helping with returning pH back to normal. So you can answer those questions from looking at your notes. So this is kind of showing you how you can do ABG problem using the five steps. And the next video, I'll show you how to do the tic-tac-toe method. But I also want to um, look at, so for example, let's take a look at an example where there is no compensation. For example, here, right? So because if there is no opposite, okay, no, nothing to, change the pH, then there's no compensation, okay? Um, I can do this, um, I can show you this real quickly. So this is um, acidosis, so step one, the pH is low. So this is case number one, so this is acidosis. The PCO2, is high, so if the PCO2 is high, that's high amount of hydrogen in the blood. So high PCO2, high amount of hydrogen ion, and it's low pH. Remember, respiratory is opposite. High PCO2, low pH. And this is acid. Okay, and then the HCO3, is normal because it's between 22 and 26. So we already have step two and step three done. So if you look at uh, the cause of the problem, we know that this is acidosis and this is acidosis, so this is step four, the cause, which is respiratory acidosis. Is there a compensation? Well, there is no opposite, nothing trying to raise the pH, because this one's normal, then there is no compensation. Okay, so it'll be no. All right, so I did two demonstrations so you can see the different five steps that you can use to look at the value and how they relate to each other. Again, next step, I'll do the tic-tac-toe method.